Yeah, I'm in my zone, yeah, they asking how I do this Right up in a whip, yeah, I hit it, now I'm moving This is it, it's the most crucial time in the whole wrestling season If you don't qualify for natties, you're done Your season has ended You're gonna see my journey within the Super Regional To know what it's like to see what I did As I'm striving to be the national champ Later in the video too, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity To win $10,000 for a completely free wrestling game actually And it's not gambling, it's not betting I pass it with the NCAA compliance But sit back, relax, enjoy the video Okay, ladies and gentlemen I believe we're almost done packing. I am also uploading files from my phone uh, to my MacBook, actually. I never edit on this MacBook. I'm always here on my, you know, my desktop Mac. But because we have a super, super long day with traveling, whether that being just on the plane, waiting for layovers, whatever that might be, I have all the time in the world to edit. And of course, do homework too, because being in college, there are college courses, and especially these upper level classes, there are no gen eds anymore. I was just sitting here working for, you know, 40 minutes and I, and I hate working, spending so much time on homework, but it was the most frustrating thing trying to figure out this whole Excel sheet. And anyways, I hope the teacher is an easy grader. So hopefully if they watch my video, hopefully they grade me all right. But nonetheless, this is gonna be a very, very fun video to not only be in, but make and edit as long as we win Super Regionals, right? So even though today is Wednesday and Super Regionals aren't until Saturday, we have a long day of traveling on the plane ride and I wanna bring you guys along for the journey. Let's head to bed. I'll see you when I wake up. Well, today's the day. Just traveling, of course, but we shaved up, looking real nice. Check that out. Weighed in, only about four and a half over. Super, super good for early on the week. Of course, we just did not want to make weight an issue this week, of course, with the importance of it. And I've been debating on what shoes I'm actually going to wear to compete. And I was thinking, you know what? Why not just go with the OG XEOs? Of course, if you guys know, if you know, you know, but I'm actually gonna go with the newer model of these because I do want to kind of keep these um, in better condition. I think I can still bust these out here. Here, um, basically my whole next year too if I wanted but we're going with the new gen of those so we got to go to Parkside here get our second to last practice in before weigh-ins and then we're flying out Looks like we're taking a bus to the airport for everyone to carry their stuff. Well, we have landed in airport one. We got some just straight chicken. That's what we're munching on here before uh, the next flight. So we're in Minnesota right now. We got like wait two hours until our next flight. One more flight and then we're there. Just when you thought we haven't had enough travel, we got a two hour ride from Bismarck to Minot. And it's North Dakota, not South Dakota, by the way. Ah, I'm tired. Good morning. We have made it to the hotel after two flights and a two hour car ride. And this is the next morning. Had a good night's sleep. We're having some, some breakfast here. This hotel that we're in, Smells really, really funky. I'm not gonna lie. But regardless, we go to the grocery store here soon. We still got one more practice in today and it's just really gonna be a kind of a slower day, but just locking in our mentality for the weekend and remove a shoe. So we're in a Shields now. I, I looked at their nutrition and stuff. Check this out for Rise. From top to bottom. Oh my goodness. Definitely if there's one pre that I kind of want to try, it's the Ring Pop. Um, you guys can use code Caden, save 15% off, but Pretty cool stuff. Worked out here, finally in the arena. Just about an hour, hour and a half, sweating super good. Wait. I'm just honestly not even worried. I didn't even check my weight before practice. I'm, I'm feeling light. I think this is like the most shredded I've been in a long time. Um, 
basically almost got yeah. about four teams cycled through on here. We got three mats. This is where we're going to be wrestling. So seating is actually kind of cool in here. I'm not going to lie, a lot of seating. And uh, just kind of reflecting on what's, what's going to happen is don't worry about the future. Focus on what you can control in every every current situation here in the present. So like, I'm not looking at this, not thinking, trying not to, of course, thinking about the seeds and who I'm gonna be matched up against. So where, where am I gonna see in the semis? Who can I see in the finals? You know, you know, what if, what if, what if, what ifs, right? Basically, we're just only focusing on what we can tr con control, thinking about the past year, about the amount of effort, the practices we put in, the traveling, I've been to train with, you know, the best guys with wrestling, you know, in the world, with world champs, Olympic champs, hearing their stories. And I know that there's no one else in here that is has has the passion and drive for wrestling like I do to have an impact in the sport. And because of that, I believe my next thing is to make it happen on the mat, make my results, make my performance known that I'm the best wrestler, the best D2 wrestler at 141 pounds in the USA. So feeling confident, feeling excited, feeling ready, and feeling very, very grateful to be wrestling. Post-match Sally with the Rice Krispie. I know I didn't really talk today in today's vid yet. Um, staying focused here, but the keys to victory, light in our feet, and just knowing it's our destiny to win it. So score points on the board, good things happen, and pushing the pace today. So looking to fight here in the semis. We'll take it from there. So this is your chance to win $10,000 in wrestling, basically, for playing this free-to-play game. Now, the idea, it's called Lineup Legends. You basically pick the 10 winners of the Division I NCAA National Championships, and if you get the most right, you win $10,000. This is a completely free-to-play game. The form to submit is linked in the description below, and you can always change your lineup up until the first whistle of Nationals. So I highly encourage you guys to do this. It's completely free. It's your chance to win $10,000, and I'll leave that linked in the description below. Let's get back to the vid.
Get it. Three. Beautiful. baby let's take it to future Caden to talk about that match a little bit and yes guys I'm freaking hyped we did it ladies and gentlemen we made it to the finals of regionals which solidified ourselves as a qualifier for the national tournament now at this time you you know you saw me there sleeping a bit after every single match I was always hitting the hay I mean just with the long days of traveling the wrestling tournament so taxing but also just envisioning myself and just repeating these manifestations in my mind of I'm gonna be the national champion this is how I want the match to go envisioning everything how I want it to be honestly like my mind was racing so much and you know doubt always creeps into my mind like everyone's mind the key is you have to manage it and you have to have that bigger voice in your head that bigger voice saying I am here for a reason I will win 
I am deserving to win. I put in the work needed to win. And one of the things that helps me with just having that bigger voice is to rely on the faith of God. And if you put your faith in Jesus, you know kind of what I'm talking about. If you don't, here's a way that you can basically relate it to your own life. And that's 100% believing with absolute certainty that you are exactly where you need to be and the things in your life are absolutely needed for you to become the person you need to be or learn the skills that you need to learn. You can try to plan your whole life out. You can go try to accomplish all these things, but at the end of the day, God's will will be done. And if you can have faith that what God is doing in your life is for the better, you have, will have so much more peace of mind. And in that semifinal match, you know, I wrestled Murdy. I think that was our seventh time we wrestled in my college career. And you know, there's moments in that match where it's like, wow, my hands are tired. What if he shoots here? What, what, what if I lose this? Wow, I'm gonna have, you know, two more tough matches in order to qualify for nationals. And in my mind, I was just like, I, I need to win this. I need to win this match. Just one more match and I qualify. And you know, I think this year is a little bit different too. Every year in wrestling is different, but especially for me, just in the way how my content has gone and the explosion and you know, the overall just following growth has been insane. I'm super grateful for that. But of course that adds that extra pressure on myself of, of being like, dude, you told hundreds of thousands of people that you're gonna be a national champion, that that's what you're set out, setting out to do. And you gotta, you gotta make things Things happen now. But in that match, we did a phenomenal job putting on the pace, believing in ourselves, trusting in ourselves, trusting our conditioning, spend some time riding there. But the tournament was not done. We still had the finals match to go. So the tournament concluded, we went off to the airport and we were actually locked out at one in the morning. So we slept there until our flight. Guys, what, what, what the heck just happened? First off, I'd like to say kudos to him. That was just a very interesting move. He had a great grip on my neck for some reason. And you know, he, he stuck me. I knew I could take him down. I knew he couldn't take me down. I wrestled him twice last year in the super regional finals. And you know, he was the one match I won at nationals. And you know, I think walking in there, I was, you know, I, of course I was so confident, but I think I was like a little more relaxed and a couple singlet malfunctions. You're gonna have to listen to the podcast if you wanna know about that. But immediately after I got pinned, I'm like, I, I was, I'm not worried at all. Like sure, that might affect seating for nationals and whatnot, but at the end of the day, I made it through to the, I made it through to nationals. Of course that match, like we even should have scored in that single leg position. Um, it was just, we're looking completely past it. Like I'm not, whatever. But after every loss so far this season, you know, we've came back stronger and we've learned from that. We are always better after a loss. I'm going to this nationals completely confident in my abilities to win a national championship. But overall for the Parkside Rangers, 
fr freaking phenomenal weekend. We ended up getting seven qualifiers, a seven of 10. That's unbelievably insane. And we had two wrestlers actually who got fourth. So they were one match away from qualifying. I recorded some of DeRocher's match, our 157. He actually got revenge on the guy. He beat him twice in one day. And this is the same guy that beat him in the third place match last year in overtime. So it was just, it was an awesome, awesome event there. So big congrats to Ben there. But then also I recorded Shu right after and he got robbed so hard. This was to go to nationals. Shu has been on a rampage this entire season. You, you guys let me know, was this two for Shu? I mean, it's it's clear as day and the refs went and reviewed it and apparently they overturned it or it, it wasn't two. But long story short, I mean, we learn from this. We come back better. You know, he still has more years. And overall, as a team, we are looking to win a team national title. And in order to do that, we're all gonna have to, you know, place and place high but it's a very very exciting time this is the time to peak all of that work the, the summers the waking up early to travel all this the mindset training the strength training all the sacrifices we have left you know for this sport this is it this is nationals next week but thank you guys so much for watching this video you can see we're in the cauliflower clash of combat merch april 3rd is the official drop date everything is stitched embroidery we are so proud of this i'll be doing way more promo later but this is currently one of the coolest projects i've worked on but shout out to the patrons over on there thanks for watching once again we'll see you guys next video